Welcome back everyone. So what could possibly go wrong with a single color? What could possibly go wrong? How about something new? How about blotchy? I don't know if that's a cause of humidity or piss poor paint, but just blotchy. I mean, we got shiny, you can clearly see it there. We got a shiny spot there and it gets kind of a semi-gloss. We get a little bit more of a semi-gloss. It almost has like a milky hue to it. All right, it almost looks that way. Hard to tell towards the front end, but you can definitely see it. Let me turn this into a better spot. Right there. What the fuck is going on there? I mean, what can go wrong will go wrong, and it does go wrong. So I'm going to try something out and see if I can get rid of it. What I was going for was a two tone black, right? Because the body is already covered in a, well, a fake carbon fiber type paint already to begin with. Maybe hard for you guys to discern that on camera, but here is a the rear wing. So I was gonna duplicate a two-tone. I wanted to have some sort of black that wasn't carbon fiber look. I didn't care if it was shiny, matte, or even a primer black, but I wanted it something different. And what was on there, right? So that's why some of this area is taped off and others are not. So I'm going for a certain type of look. I really, I had this car sitting in the back corner of my little workshop and I was just looking at it in its almost black condition with its fake carbon fiber. I really like the menacing type appearance it had. It just, I mean, again, it looks a little more shiny right through here than it does here. You, I mean, you can see that right there, right? I mean, am I the only one that's blind? But anyway, getting off subject, going off for a two-tone. Again, didn't work out. No snakes, no bullfrogs, no flies, none, none of that garbage. So it is what it is. I do have a plan of action to try and blend it in first before I remove the tape. I'm gonna try it out and then remove the tape and then see how it looks. So there is a look. Remember it was shiny right in that area. It looks a lot better, more monotone, I guess would be a good word. Couldn't quite get into that tight little recess area right there very well, but I was able to smooth it out and create a more, oh, it looks like I need to work a little more back in that area right there, but I think that's the idea right there. Let me hit that real quick. Okay, so that looks like it's taken care of. The problem with this type of paint job is as soon as you touch this with your bare fingers, it's done. All right, there's a special technique used to get that. And let's do the sides where it was most noticeable next. So if you remember before on this particular side, there was like a definite discoloration. Now it's more of a monochrome, monotone type look, nice and even, right? I don't care if it's shiny, super shiny, or even flat black. I just want it different than what's underneath that tape. Personally, that's what I'm going after. I want a two-tone black. I want to try and accentuate some of the curves, some of the body lines in the same process without being too obvious. I'm not sure I'm going to stick on stickers at all on this one. So in the process or in the process of wiping someone, some of the dust down from what I'm doing right here may have inadvertently created some shiny spots 
but for the most part it's coming out pretty good. I can still see a little bit of the carbon fiber. This did have three coats of paint on it before I started doing what I'm doing right now. Which I will tell you what I'm doing here in a minute. But let me first try taking off some tape here and show you guys what's going on. Again, put some gloves on. So there it is. Very subtle. Almost, un it looks like I got a piece of tape still right there, a little piece of tape right there, but almost unnoticeable. I mean, very, very subtle. I like that. And I got some tape residue. I think I'm going to get some alcohol on a rag and see if I can get rid of that residue. I'll have to wear gloves from now on whenever I handle this body because any contact at all with my skin will create a different look to it. Yeah, you can see all the little tape lines in there. You can see how their simulated carbon fiber is here and then it disappears there and then it reappears here. Then all the pieces here Side the tape there, the mirrors, the hood scoop, the the rear rear uh, tail light area, and then I got a rear diffuser. Oh, the rear diffuser is outside being painted. They will all be just very subtle changes that I think will help accent this car, help bring out its characters. And then we'll I'll stick window stickers on the windows because it came in this carbon fiber look. So I'll stick the window stickers on there definitely. I'm not sure about the rest of the stickers. Maybe a Zonda R on each side and I think one goes on the back. I might do that. But other than that, I think I'm going to keep it very, very simple. So far, not as bad as I expected it. 